Senate candidate Roy Moore, with his wife Kayla Moore, talked to the media after voting and arriving by horse at the Gallant Volunteer Fire Department in Gallant, Ala, on Tuesday, Deck, 12, 2017, in a lawsuit that echoes a civil case against President Trump. An Alabama woman on Thursday sued failed U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore in his campaign for defamation, citing harsh personal attacks she faced after coming forward with allegations he touched her sexually when she was 14 years old. Lee Korfman is not seeking financial compensation beyond legal costs. She is asking for a declaratory judgment of defamation, a public apology from Moore, and a court-enforced ban on him or his campaign publicly attacking her again. She said in a statement that the suit seeks to do what I could not do as a 14-year-old hold Mr. Moore and those who enable him accountable. A representative of Moore's campaign, Brett Doster, said he had no immediately comment on the lawsuit filed in state court in Montgomery County. Allah, subscribe to the Post Most newsletter. Today's most popular stories on the Washington Post Corfman told Washington Post in November that when Moore was a 32-year-old assistant district attorney in 1979, he took her to his house, undressed her, touched her over her underpants and bra and guided her hand to touch his genitals over his underwear. Moore has called Korfman's allegations of abuse politically motivated, completely false, and malicious. On November 10, the day after the story published, he told Sean Hannity of Fox News he had never met Korfman but he did not rule out that he might have dated older teenagers when he was in his 30s. Five women, including Korfman, told The Post that Moore pursued them when they were teenagers. The allegations appended the race and helped Democrats capture the seat for the first time in 25 years. On Election Day, exit polls showed 52% of voters in Alabama believe the allegations were probably or definitely true, and 7% said those allegations were the most important factor in deciding their vote. Korfman's suit filed one day after Moore's former opponent, Doug Jones took the oath of office represents a fledgling legal frontier where people who say they were victimized long ago are litigating their claims through defamation lawsuits. The strategy allows them to proceed even after the statute of limitations has run out for criminal charges or for a suit seeking damages for sexual abuse, as it has in Korfman's case. The defamation suit against Trump was brought by Summer Zervos a former contestant on the reality show The Apprentice, who says he kissed and groped her in 2007. The lawsuit centers on the president's combative response during the 2016 campaign. Trump called the claims by multiple women that he had touched them improperly, big lies, and he called the women liars. A judge in New York State Supreme Court is weighing Trump's motion to dismiss the case. Zervos's attorney Gloria Allred, has said that a defamation case she and attorney Marianne Meyer Wang settled in New York in 2015 is an important precedent. Quote, in that case, two former ball boys accused a Syracuse University basketball coach of defaming them after they spoke up about alleged sexual abuse. Allred also represents a woman who accused Moore of kissing and groping her when she was 16 years old. At a news conference, Beverly Young Nelson produced her high school yearbook containing an inscription she said was written by Moore to prove that he knew her, though Shelleter acknowledged adding the location, date and initials, D. A. After the signature, comedian Bill Cosby has also been sued for defamation in cases that involve allegations of abuse. Years ago ago, a federal judge in Pennsylvania last year tossed out a suit filed by a woman who said Cosby defamed her in the media after she accused him of drugging and sexually assaulting her. A separate defamation lawsuit, filed in 2014 by several women who say Cosby sexually assaulted them, is pending in Massachusetts, under a landmark Supreme Court ruling. 
The legal standard for defamation of a public figure is that the statements were known to be false or showed a reckless disregard for the truth. Experts say the standard is lower for defaming a private individual negligence toward the truth though. Korfman's suit claims Moore's comments meet the higher standard. Korfman's lawsuit cites numerous negative comments made by Moore and five top campaign allies, including campaign manager Rich Hobson, who announced Wednesday that he is running for Congress.